Yo, hello everyone. Are you looking to expand your sales beyond on your Equid store? In this video, I will show you how to add a buy button in Equid, from generating the code for your buy button to embedding it on your website or blog. So let's get started. Before we start with this video, make sure to watch it from now till the end so you have full experience. So here we are guys, I am on the Equid dashboard. Now, once you create your account, it's going to be looking something like that. So click on website settings. This is what I highly suggest you to do. Now, as you can see, the products that you will have by default are not going to be like mine. But yeah, you will have products by default in your website. If you clicked on this product, so let me just go through the site itself. Um, here we go. So we can navigate through it. So if I click here. This is by the product. So if I translate it to like not Korean, of course, so let me just translate to another language and let's try English. So English over here, translate. So this is add to cart button. Once we click here, you will have like everything from cards, etc. So how you can buy. So how we can add the buy button to the product itself from the outside image through here. So there is multiple ways. The first one which is by going to here. So click on here store and then you'll find all of these kind of options. So here as you can see. So now what I'm going to do is choose product list and categories. And here they will show you this buy button or buy now button in here. At the moment I have it on do not show. Click on show and if I translate the page, immediate purchase, so it is not the correct translation, but you get the idea. It is the buy now button. So this is a way on how to add it to your product on Equid store web page. Now, if I went back to the main dashboard and I clicked on catalog and get one to products. So once you try to create a product, of course, here you will have upload image so let's do something real quick for example here iPhone X uh, iPhone X2 um, let's give it a price so 400 here we have created our product and here in the settings you will have all these kind of different settings or menu from general attributes options files shipping and pickup SEO rated products and finally buy now button click on it and then click on embed product here click on stay on this page or leave the page and here we go so now just wait a little bit and this shall be changed so ways to use buy buttons it will help you promote products on your blog sidebar of your site or any other place literally Creates a completely showcase that details every advantage of your product and offers a way to buy it online. Add online checkout for products already present on your site. So now let me just refresh this page. Here we go. Let's mix a little bit. And this is how it's going to look like. So I have it bugged. I don't know why, but let me just freeze it over here. So as you can see here, it will show us this text with full of information. Uh, so if you sell product, etc, etc. So more or less, guys, that's how it's going to look like. So step one, select a product. So if you sell just a few products, you can add them to your web pages using buy buttons. Customers will be able to order your products from these pages with the button, the buy button. So pick up a product that you'd like to embed. So for now, I have this problem that it is bugged. I can't really go through it. Maybe if I have deleted the cookies, it will help me out. But yeah, I have no clue why I'm having this problem. But overall, you will have it all ready to go in your website. All you have to do next is click on this button that will be appearing for you, which is uh, generate the code. So let me just open this real quick for you guys so you can see it. So here we go. It's going to be a button here that says generate the code. For me, I don't have it, unfortunately. But yeah. Once you have it, you will generate the code. You can go to your website through the dashboard. Click into here. So click on website settings. And just from here, you can add the code 
to your website using the range section from here and paste the code of course you will have to learn some kind of html uh, basics so you can adjust the code uh, to know where to put it how to design it and how to change the buy button itself so guys so we can be on the same image once more there is two ways on adding the buy button and to actually adjust it on the page the first one which is as i said by going to the catalog products and from here go and to your product so you can create either a new product or go to edit product so let's create a new one first here we go and now i'm going to add new products stay on this page so we have successfully created that we can add this image here and we can add the price into it so save and now we have added this product to our gallery the next thing which is going to buy now button and from here click on inbid product and now it has been working okay that's finally worked for us so now you can choose how do you want it to be like do you want it to be a compact column button only full size columns or full size three columns this is how it's gonna look like so it is all up to you let's keep it that way and then we can go to appearance here we can adjust everything from what stuff we'd like to be appearing on our product page from product name breadcrumbs product skew the price the availability uh, labels number of items wholesale prices and much more so finally we can generate the code copy it and later on you can literally like adjust it and change whatever you'd like from here so copy the code choose a page for your product and simply paste the copied code into the page so paste the integration code into the page section where you want to display the button and save the changes for a complete guide you can click here to visit the support and see how it looks like so now let's go back to the dashboard visit website and here we can uh, like go to whatever section and let's go for example here and change the code itself and the next thing which is as i said before is just going to the store from here you can go all the way down and you can go to product list and categories and change the buy button through here so it is as simple as that and that was it guys for today's video i hope you learned anything or anything that you have in mind having a problem with it you have conclude a solution for it through this video i hope you guys if you have any kind of more questions or problems make sure to leave them down below in the comment section i will go through all of them and answer them one by one and if there is any kind of hard question to be answered on by commenting i will make a whole new video for it so keep up guys watch my other videos if you have any kind of problems with equid i have made bunch of others and see you guys in the next tutorial